When I was a toddler, my uh, uh, grandmother had to uh, look after me one afternoon, and I don't even think she had a television at the time. So she just uh, pulled me up in her lap and got a book and then put a piece of paper down, and I watched her draw a horse. And it was just magical. I, I knew I wanted to do something like that, so I kept making art. And then um, I didn't go to kindergarten. I didn't have preschool. So I had to repeat first grade. So to kind of bump up my grades, I would do extra projects, particularly art projects, and submit them to kind of improve my grade. Then I would get positive attention for that. So all the way through elementary and even middle school, um, I got a lot of positive feedback for the art uh, works that I was working on, particularly in, uh, while I was doing sculpture, paper mache sculpture, and ceramics. I was not much of an athlete, but I was an art nerd, completely. When I was in high school, I was making these clay figures, and then I put them in settings that were kind of like about the scale of a G.I. Joe, and then I was accepted at Virginia Commonwealth University, and I had a phenomenal uh, professor who was chairman of the department, Harold North. And he goes, when you come into the department, you're gonna to have to come up with like a different approach and let that go so you can learn other things. And which he said very wisely. And so that happened. Eventually I uh, got the habit of going around the alleys in Richmond, Virginia, and I would dumpster dive for materials. So it didn't cost me anything, and then I could put together these things I kind of discovered by chance. And the getting inspired by what I was bringing back, and I'd let it sit, and then all of a sudden I'd use it, and I um, could explore a lot of possibilities without it being really precious. So here I am in the glory of St. Mary's Studios in a building where I can renew these, all these sculptural ideas that have been just dating for decades. I'm striving to make objects and sculptures and wall pieces that people haven't particularly seen before. I mean, I'm not the first artist to use found objects, but I enjoy not only the forms that I'm working with, but also I like to go back and give them a special surface treatment. So each piece, as you can see behind me, it's kind of camouflaged because I find scraps of fabric and then I um, affix it to the object with um, wood glue. And then sometimes I'll wrap it with upholstery thread. And then sometimes the piece will say, I need some paper mache. So I apply the paper mache. And then sometimes glitter calls, I apply the glitter. Sometimes I need fake gems and I apply the gems. So there's this dialogue going back between me and this inanimate object as I like, you know, bring it to life. When I'm working on the piece, first surface treatment is the um, scraps, scraps of fabric. So that covers the entire piece. So it kind of camouflages the form. Also, it can unify the form. So the fabrics either have like, sometimes a, a very amazing color or an unusual pattern. So when I go to do something else to it, I might leave that section alone. There might be a dull section that I need to jazz up. So then I want to come up with the most obnoxious colors and attention getting colors I can manage so that's why I lean to the fluorescent colors. So I get the obnoxious orange and the, the yellows and all those colors. And so they're kind of, there's a contrast between the almost um, earth tone of the fabric and then this like electric uh, uh, fluorescent colors going on. I'm not concerned about the audience. I just want to make what I want to make for me and I tap into my life experiences, and I tap into um, memories. Uh, all these different experiences are kind of gelled and kind of like become part of the work as it evolves. So that's what I'm excited about, is I never know exactly what, 
what direction the work's going to take me depending on what I come across and uh, what inspires me. So I have a great deal of excitement um, about being here at this time because I kind of feel like I'm my 25 year old is still inside but just like housed in a 66 year old body. <laughs>